just in terms of the issue of youth unemployment, mm -hmm. Arlene, um, obviously everyone around the table will be aware there's a growing discussion <coughs> amongst young people about leaving the country and emigrating uh, to Australia, even Scotland and, and some examples. How, how do we ensure that apprentices do get the foot inside the door uh, in terms of their own particular trades uh, or, or, or jobs? Um, I know Conor Murphy um, uh, was very proactive in ensuring that in terms of road contracts uh, and the previous executive that a certain percentage of those employed in those major contracts were from the long term unemployed as well as being apprentices. Is there any affirmative actions that you are looking at or the executive is looking at in that regard? Well, we did take, um, uh, if you want to call it affirmative action, in the Titanic Signature Project um, uh, contract uh, where again there were um, requirements in relation to uh, long-term unemployed people to be employed on the site as well uh, and we thought that that was important uh, for that particular area that that was the case and that has been complied with as far as I understand David. In relation to youth unemployment and after reading through the Westminster Select Committee report on corporation tax, it did point out that yes, corporation tax is very important and will give us a radical change, but we still need it to build on other areas, and skills is one of those areas that we very much uh, need to build on. And I'm hoping to meet with uh, the new minister in, in the near future to talk about those skills because, yes, we're talking about the high-end skills, obviously, and, and, and the need to have that for uh, foreign direct investment, but we also need to have a skills strategy for the manual skills that we very much need to have in Northern Ireland. Uh, so skills uh, and that whole area is, is certainly one thing that we need to address in youth unemployment. Second issue is to make use of the Social Investment Fund, which has been uh, declared by Office of First Minister and Deputy First Minister. Um, that can be used uh, for aspirational attainment, uh, education, um, the need to inspire young people uh, to move out of what they might traditionally think is the way they should be going. All of those areas, uh, and that's why I very much welcome that social investment fund, and I think it's something that uh, local communities really need to grab a hold of, but they will be looking to government for uh, strategic <coughs> Uh, vision, if you like, in relation to that whole area of youth unemployment. It is a concern. I, I do have to say that to you. In, in terms of tourism, then, as well, I mean, obviously, it's a major concern um, in the local area in North Antrim. And uh, just to give the example, I sent you correspondence about Valley Castle, and the fact there's a lot of concerns, no ho hotel provision there whatsoever. Uh, and I think, given the level of tourists uh, going through that area, that's a, that's a major concern and a major uh, hole in, in that local economy. So. I think in terms of tourism, we are um, not meeting our full potential as yet, uh, and given uh, you know, our major tourist areas, you know, the north coast, you have the Giants Causeway, you have Bush Mills, uh, you have Bally Castle, you have the Glens, and to not have a hotel, a major hotel in that area, is, is something that we're, we're missing out on. So I'm wondering, in terms of that particular area, and also other areas of the north, uh, what is the department? and the SNI uh, in particular want to do to ensure that we attract outward or outside investment and also the support from the SNI to ensure that over the next four years that people are coming in to invest in hotels and things like that. Well, you're right to say it's Invest Northern Ireland still holds the uh, pot of money in relation to hotel accommodation that hasn't, although I took the powers to pass it over to the tourist board, it still remains with Invest Northern Ireland at this point in time. Uh, so I actually thought that the Marine Court was just an administration. I hadn't realised it had actually closed completely. Obviously, we would want mm. that hotel uh, to be reopened as quickly as possible, and we'll be working with the administration uh, and administrators to, to ensure that does happen. But hotel provision in the, uh, on the North Coast has always been an issue since I came in um, before. It. And uh, we very much wanted to see uh, a five-star hotel happening, uh, and it's, the Tourist Board has always been supportive of that sort of um, uh, accommodation being placed in uh, the North Coast. I have to say, I was in the North Coast myself uh, just two weekends ago, um, stayed in self-catering accommodation, and it was an absolutely marvellous staycation. I'm doing my bit for North Antrim here, David. You should be very pleased with it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but it's the 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 natural scenery that we have on the north coast uh, is something that we really need to build upon and when that Giants Causeway Visitor Centre is in place and it's going very well at the present moment in time uh, we will see a huge influx of people but they need the accommodation 
stay in you no know, point coming in for a day and that's what has always happened up there people come up to the Giants Causeway for a day and then go back to Belfast or go back to Donegal as has often happened and they're actually not staying overnight in Northern Ireland that's uh, where the difficulty arises so there is a real need to have accommodation in the North uh, Coast area and uh, certainly it's something I'll be having a discussion with the Northern Ireland Tourist Board about yeah, I mean, and, and in best Northern Ireland of course and Just one final point, I think it's an issue of scale as well because I know a lot of investors are not interested unless it's at least 80 to 100 hotel yes. rooms. Yeah. So Many uh, has the Marine Court. Can it's, it's less than 80 anyway. And there's, there's little room for expansion there as well, so that's, that's where your difficulty is. Right. Uh, but certainly we should be looking at big hotels and you know, the, 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 those are numbers there to accommodate it. Yeah, yeah. well there is.